Today, we're going to see if we can win by comboing off, playing our entire deck, and then exiling our opponent's entire deck with Ashiok Wicked Manipulator. So here is our Ashiok combo deck, which I think is my current favorite historic brawl deck. And this deck is absolutely ridiculous, super fun, super unique, and it's all about comboing off with Ashiok Wicked Manipulator. So one of the big upsides of comboing in Historic Brawl is we actually get one of our combo pieces in the command zone, which means we kind of have a bunch of one card combos because we're always gonna have access to Ashiok. We have several single cards that essentially just combo off and let us win the game. So Ashiok, it does a ton of different things. Plus ones to exile a card, draw a card. Negative two to make tokens. That's the mode we use least. That's like the desperate about to die need chump block option but what we really are built around is this static in the ultimate so this static if we pay life instead we exile that many cards from our deck in the ultimate negative seven target player exiles the top x cards of their library where x is a total mana value of cards we own in exile so the real goal of our deck is to play ashiok pay a ton of life for things which will exile a ton of our deck and then ultimate ashiok to exile our opponent's entire deck and when this comes together we can potentially ultimate ashiok the turn we play it. We can do this all in one big turn. So how do you actually combo with Ashiok? And we got a bunch of synergies in the deck, but the most straightforward is just Bolas' Citadel. Bolas' Citadel, already a ridiculous card. If you have Ashiok though, it is absolutely absurd. So for six mana, it lets us play cards off the top of our library, but we have to pay life rather than the mana value of the cards. We'd also like sack stuff to drain. We don't really do that though. That's not actually important. So you can probably see the synergy here. Ashiok makes it so if we pay life and said we exile that many cards from our deck, Bolas' Citadel lets us play cards off the top of our deck for life. So if we have Ashiok out with Bolas' Citadel, we can play as many cards as we want to, and we're never going to actually run out of life. Like we can be casting eight drops like Phyllis, which are normally super sketchy with Bolas' Citadel. What if we're at seven life? We couldn't play anything. We fizzle. What if we just like run into too many expensive things? We're going to kill ourselves with Bolas' Citadel damage. That doesn't happen with Ashiok. If we play a Villas instead of spending eight life. We actually just exile eight cards, which is an upside rather than a downside because we're trying to get to the Ashiok ultimate anyway. So we're basically trying to play Ashiok, trying to tutor up Bolas' Citadel. Since we're black, we have a ridiculous number of tutors. We got Wish Claws, we have Diabolic Intents, we got Beseech the Mirrors, there's some other ones, Grim Tutor. There's a ton of ways to find our combo pieces. And then once we get these two cards on the battlefield, we just try to play essentially our entire deck in a turn. We also have a bunch of scry effects, uh, stuff like Woe's Strider. So the way our combo fizzles is essentially getting multiple lands in a row on top of our deck. But if we have like a Woe Strider or a treasure map, we can scry away the extra lands to keep comboing to play our entire deck. So how do we actually win the game in one turn with this? That's the next question. So Ashiok comes into play with five loyalty. It ultimates for seven, which means we essentially need two proliferates to ultimate Ashiok the turn it comes into play. And that is actually kind of easy to achieve. So assuming we set up the combo, we're going to get to play a huge chunk of our deck anyway, and we're hoping to find a couple of different cards that can proliferate. So one of the easy ones is Yagmoth Thran Physician. Just pay two, discard a card, proliferate. We don't really need cards in hand because we're playing our entire deck anyway. So we can activate Yagmoth twice, hopefully after playing it for free with Bolas' Citadel, proliferate Ashiok to seven. Once we have exiled our entire deck, we just exile our opponent's entire deck, pass the turn, they lose to milling out. So that's one easy way. We also have access to Staff of Completion, which works as a mana rock, but can also proliferate. If we get enough mana, we can untab it, proliferate twice. So that's kind of the main idea of the deck. Play the Ashiok, get the Bolas' Citadel, play through our entire deck, hopefully proliferate a couple times, win the game. But that's not all the deck does. The deck also just casts a ridiculous amount of spells. We have weird shenanigans with Phyrexian Processor. We can pay all of our life to Phyrexian Processor, but instead just exhale a bunch of cards, make these massive like 24, 24 tokens every single turn. Maybe even throw them at our opponent's face if we can flip a catapult fodder. There's also a bunch of other ways to just go like pseudo infinite with Ashiok, like Necropotence is on Arena now. Necro, you pay a life, you gotta skip your draw, whatever, but you pay a life and you essentially draw that card on your end step. With Ashiok, we don't pay the life, we just exile a card. So Necro Ashiok just exiles our entire deck, gets a ton of things in exile, kills with Ashiok's ultimate. Also, Doom Whisper is really sweet, pay two life to surveil too. That's another card that if we have an Ashiok and can ultimate, 
it. This can just exile our entire deck to win us the game. And that's essentially the plan of the deck. Ashiok Bolas' Citadel, tutor it up, combo off, so many shenanigans. So I'm gonna stop rambling. It's gonna make sense when you see it in action. This deck is super spectacular, really unique, super fun, and honestly, kind of a little bit busted to the point where I'm wondering if Ashiok should be put in the like busted commander tier rather than the normal commander tier, because it is actually really easy to play your entire deck with this card. But anyway, let's see the deck in action. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoy it. And I'll be back in a bit for the wrap up. Need an Ashiok of your own? Well, you can snag one from our sponsor Card Kingdom over at cardkingdom.com slash Goldfish. We are, ooh, Toxrel. <laughs> All right, we are doing some more Ashiok Wombo Combo Wing in uh, some historic brawl this week, and we're gonna keep this. Doom Whisper Ashiok's actually pretty, pretty sweet. Oh God, are you milling us? My goodness, my goodness. All right, that might be awkward. Opponent. Wait, are you playing Toxrel Mill? Okay. Cold Steel Heart. Can we draw a removal spell? Yix. Well, Maze Mind Stone go. Are we actually going to get milled out? That is depressing. Land. I mean, they do have to get through 100 cards. The problem is our Ashiot combo also... Oh, jeez. The problem is our Ashiot combo also eats through a lot of cards. What a... There are not that many good mill cards in a... In magic, and our opponent, I think, has drawn essentially all of them. <laughs> they have drawn them all. Well, let's scry. This also shuts down our tutors. We're definitely keeping Hagramalling. That can kill something in two turns. This turn, do we Frexian Arena or Gix? Well, play the land. Gix can attack the Ashiok. You know what? Let's play the Gix. The downside of Gix is it could die. The upside of Gix is it can attack this Ashiok. Please don't mill our Citadel. We really need the Citadel. We also are going to need removal for Toxroll. Opponent land mills. There goes our Soul Cauldron. Keeps it on top, draws a card. I assume they're looking for removal for Gix. Mills us. Hmm. Citadel might be sketchy this game just because we're not going to have any cards in our deck to go with Ashiok. Although, our opponent is putting a lot of cards into Exile, which is kind of hilarious. I have no idea how this goes wrong, but we're going to block. That was an interesting attack. Oh, they're trying to trigger Revolt. Okay. Well, we will scry. I guess it's fine. It gets us to Ashiok. We'll keep it. All right. So we will draw the Reliquary Tower. We will play the Snow Covered Swamp. I mean, I guess we just Nyx Lotus. Not good yet, but we'll be good eventually. So we have the Hagramalling to deal with the Tox roll. This Ashiok is slowly, slowly running out of counters. Abona passes, but we will scry. The Celestis to the bottom. Acroma's Memorial. Oh, play the land. Play Fraxian Arena. We might be okay. Pony got off to a fast mill start. What is infinite? Do you see the infinity symbol? What is that representing? I've never seen that before. <laughs> opponent mills us. Not the Citadel. Not the Citadel. We have no way of getting Citadel back from exile. Our opponent still has not hit the Citadel, which is good. Opponent passing. This time we get to draw with Maze Mindstone, which is also nice. We gain some life, which is not super relevant. Draw Swamp, draw Swamp, draw Swamp. We'll play the land. Ashiok. Do we have a counter? All right, opponent, counter number one. Sure. Yes, back to the command zone. I mean, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine. Opponent. I mean, I assume this Ashiok's done. Maybe they... I guess we're kind of hoping they just activate it, honestly, at this point. Activating it... Gets it off the battlefield and turns on our tutors. Karn's Bastion and a Swamp. Well, play the land... Play Doom Whisper. So we can kill the Toxro, which is nice. If we get down Ashiok, we can infinitely surveil. What we might actually be looking for is Proliferate. Have they exiled Proliferate? So they exiled the Yogmoth, unfortunately. We still have our other Proliferate effects, though. There's so many cards in Exile because of our opponent's Ashiok that we might actually be able to just get them with Ashiok if we can resolve it and Proliferate it. Well, let's, uh, let's surveil. Two lands to the graveyard. We have drawn a lot of lands in a row. Surveil. We are helping our opponent mill us out, I guess. Lord of the Forsaken to the graveyard. I think 
Yeah, Erebos also to the graveyard. Let's go one, one more, one more. Well, we'll keep the Wish Claw. Do we even want the Necro? It is kind of free. Yeah, let's keep it. We draw two. Wish Claw Necro. We mostly want this dead so we can tutor. Yeah, we're definitely attacking Ashiok. Who lets it go? Okay, so play Necro. <laughs> Pretty busted. Play a land. Yeah, let's do it this way. Let's uh, Ashiok. And take up Ashiok. Take another Swamp. And, well, let's do some Necroing. Pony has, what, 82 cards? 82. I mean, our goal is to win with Ashiok next turn. 58. I mean, I guess Doom Whisper can also exile our deck. Yeah, that's probably good enough. All right, so grab the Necro cards. <laughs> All right, Erebos' Intervention, not a Swamp. Reliquary Tower lets us keep everything. So I guess we could just draw our entire deck if we wanted to. I mean, in theory, though, our opponent needs to kill this Ashiok or we just get the combo kill. Like, Necro Ashiok proliferate with Karn's Bastion. There's the Tox roll. I mean, I think this means we're good. So opponent passes. We will do some Doom Whispering. We literally just want to exile enough cards to win with Ashiok. Opponent has, what, 81, all right? Exile, exile. Mill, mill. Exile, exile. Mill, mill. 73. Mill, mill. 77. Almost there. We need one more big thing in exile. Mill and... Sure, we'll keep that on top. Why not? And then exile. All right. Good enough. Actually, that's Necro wants to get rid of this, Phyllis. All right. Opponent puts a counter on her stuff. The bad news for our opponent is I don't think there's a way they can beat this because all we need to do is proliferate on the Ashiok. Ultimate they Ashiok. Opponent. Who's the mill deck now? Who's the mill deck now? <laughs> Exile the top 103 cards. <laughs> and then we'll pass the turn. Your go, opponent. <laughs> slime away, slime away. <laughs> Ashiok is a ridiculously busted commander. Our opponent was an actual mill deck, and we were just the better mill deck. Out milling mill, out comboing combo. Ashiok is actually just really strong. It's also like, it's a cool play pattern. It's different. Oh boy. First sliver. Oh god. Well, hopefully we draw some removals. Fawn of Agonies. Okay, Fawn of Agonies. This is your chance to prove to the world just how good you are. Whenever you play life with that many blood counters on it, pay to remove four blood counters. Destroy target creature. Well, we will pass. So we can Woe Strider next turn and then maybe tutor off the goat. Mountain and cold steel heart. Now play land. Woe Strider. Make a goat. And pass the turn. First sliver is very frightening. Chromatic Lantern. Passes. We draw Vivisector. Boy, we can go super infinite if we get... You know what? Let's just key to the archive. Grab something from the spellbook. Do some ramping. Yeah, I mean, I think we just need to be able to... I think we just need to be able to kill this first sliver. We can't let that remain alive. Like, it's gonna come down and maybe build an unbeatable board. We don't have a counter, though, so it's not like we can stop it. We'll see. How good is the Cascade? The problem is all the Slivers have Cascade, so anything you can Cascade into also has Cascade. Well, here it comes. First Sliver into Harrow. Okay. That's good. At least it's not a Sliver. We kind of want to draw land here. If we draw land, we can Ashiok plus D-Spark. Otherwise... I mean, I guess we're still hoping I don't have a counter. This is... Well, let's see what we draw. That's a land. So play the land. Play Ashiok. And tick up Ashiok. And we'll take the Feed the Swarm. That's another removal spell. Stop on our opponent's upkeep, I think. And these spark the first sliver. Wow. Okay, that is excellent. I mean, that's perfectly fine. They keep the first sliver, but they're they're phased out for the turn. Yeah, that. 
that's actually even better than killing the first sliver, I think. That's essentially despark time walk mode. Like, opponent three mana to skip their turn. Yeah, they keep the first sliver, but couldn't they have just let it go and recast it and cascade again? No, yeah, I mean, well, we'll take it. We'll take it. When I play this format, I always have fun. I always have fun. I know they said they recently did a stream and they talked about supporting historic brawl more, which I or, or brawl in general, I guess, but especially historic brawl, which I think is awesome. I'm glad they're going to support it more. One thing I would oh, like, and I know they were skeptical on this, uh, according to the stream, I would love to see some sort of rank queue, not because we need to have competitive brawl necessarily, but. I would like a brawl queue where people are less incentivized to scoop. Maybe like, you know, they do those constructed events. I would play, I would play brawl events. Not because I really care about winning prizes, but I would pay, I would pay some amount of gold to, uh, to have a brawl event where my opponents also paid gold. So they're less likely to, to want to, uh, concede. Well, let's call the ring. I'm not going to do much until we get a creature. This is a weird hand. Opponent, Muriel. Well, thankfully that is legendary, so we can kill it. We will kill it. We also get to do some surveilling. Well, those are two very good cards. We'll keep both of those. Key to the Archive next turn. Does some ramping to get to... Ooh, anointed procession. All right, well, play the land. Key to the Archive. I hate taking Time Warp because I hate this card. One of my, my house rule of playing Key to the Archive is I never take Time Warp because I just hate it. I'm going to take Putrefy. We're going to discard a Chroma's Memorial. I mean, Putrefy is fine. It's still good. It doesn't deal with Anointed Procession, but it can deal with the next big creature our opponent plays. We'll see what our opponent does here. It'd be nice if we could get down the Ashiok. Like, if we can get down the Ashiok, we can... Okay, Elspeth, sure. Can make two lifelink tokens. We draw a treasure map. We'll play the land. Let's Cruelty of Gix. Start at the beginning. Swords. Wow, it's a lot of removal. Well, take the war, uh, war leader. Play the treasure map. So our opponent can't currently interact with Citadel. I think our plan is just tutor up and slam Citadel. Play Ashiak the following turn. See if... All right, wedding announcement. Yeah, that's going to be a lot of tokens. Wayfarer's Bobble. Sure, sure, sure. There's no way we can play both this turn. We just don't have enough mana. Bone, it hits us. Draws. Well, okay. We draw Swamp. We are definitely taking Citadel. I mean, we're just going for it. We could try to, like, Wrath and whatnot, but... Citadel's too sweet to pass up. Woe Strider for free. Swamp. I mean, we have a bunch of Scrying. Beseech the Mirror. Sack this Call of the Ring. What's the best thing we can get and play for free? How infinite can we go? Oh my god, if we take Dark Rit. Oh, that's, yes. Oh my goodness, Dark Ritual. Cast it. Ashiok. Now we're, now we're pretty much infinite. Stride to the bottom. Just kidding, not exactly infinite. Take up Ashiok. Take the Erebos. Not a swamp, not a swamp. Oh, so close. The Dark Rit almost got us there. Well, our opponent can kill the Ashiok. But we do have enough mana that we can recast. Oh, we should have left in the graveyard for this cruelty. Oh, that was not smart. That's fine. We can recast it. We can recast it. Goes attacking. We block. Yeah, we should have left in the graveyard, though. That was, that was a bit of a punt. Uh, we will take Maria. We will play the Ashiok. And here we go. Cold Steel Heart. On black. Veraska. Can we hit enough proliferate to win is the question. Gray Merchant. We need one more proliferate effect. Wish Claw. Play the Swamp. Villis. Sunset Pyramid. Diabolic Intent. Sack the Gray Merchant. How can we proliferate? We need one more proliferate. So Staff, we don't have enough mana. But we could find the Arcane Signet. I think we take Staff. If we can find a Mana Rock. Alright, proliferate with Veraska. Sure. There we go. Iron Craig. 
I think this actually lets us do it. Exile the Elspeth. We just need to get enough cards in exile. This is the full-on combo kill. Because we have the staff. We have three mana. So we can play the staff, activate it for life to proliferate ultimate Ashiok. We just need a few more cards in exile. That is everything we want to do. Definitely one of the coolest historic brawl decks we've played in a while. We might not be teaching Arena Zoomers about anything, but uh, it's just such a cool deck. Opponent gets back the Elspeth. Well, Guardian Idol. Sack Mariel to scry. We don't have any free scries. Uh, well, sack Villas to scry. Oh, we better not fizzle now. I'm going to be so depressed. Bottom. Crux of fate. Destroy all dragons. We don't actually want to blow things up. Doom whisper. That should, that should do it for sure. Because now we can surveil. And surveil. Ashiok at 92. Staff of Completion. Proliferate. Wow. The full combo. Ashiok Ultimate Exile 103. And that is the combo kill. Oh, that was so good. It is like shockingly easy to play through our entire deck with Ashiok. Like, Bolas of Citadel is already a ridiculous card. And now it's just... When you don't have to pay life for it, it is uh, truly absurd. <laughs> and we get to start with one of our com she lob, and we get to start with one of our combo pieces in the command zone, which is also great. Ooh, oh, this gives us a combo that I really want to pull off, which is I wanna, I wanna play Ashiok, and then I want a Frexian processor for like ninety or something. We even have the catapult fodder, which is hilarious. That's I couldn't find a black fling. The closest I could find to a black fling was catapult fodder, which is like a very janky, hard to actually pull off black fling. You got to flip it and then pay three and then tap it. But in theory, we have the the jankiest combo in our deck. Oh, I'm gonna find a basic. Sure, wouldn't mind a mana rock. A mana rock to get to Ashiok faster would be sweet. Or dark ritual. Dark ritual is always always good. I'm actually like almost surprised they let Necro be legal in this format. Necro. Ooh, that is a ramp spell. Okay. Arcane Signet go. So we're going to need, what, one more creature with different toughness, which I guess could be the Ashiok tokens. Oh, about it. Hive of the IE Tyrant. Well, play a land and catapult fodder. We do want to wait till after Ashiok to play this processor. Our opponent's also green, so they could have artifact destruction. It's going to be sad if we exile our deck and then they blow this up. Opponent passes. Well, play a swamp. Play an Ashiok. And I think we actually just make nightmares to help flip this catapult fodder at some point. No attacks. We don't want to incentivize our opponent to kill our catapult fodder. A bonus, snow covered forest. Brood Weaver. Well, okay, take up Ashiok. Exile the snow covered swamp. Play a land. Play a guardian idol. Play a mind stone. I think at this point. At this point, we want to get enough mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have enough mana we can play and activate processor all in one turn. Oh, and they had the Besaju too. Okay. We waited until they played the Besaju accidentally, which is nice. Technically, we need two more mana. Three more mana for the Catapult Captain. What in the world is this? When it enters a battlefield, note the most prevalent creature type in opponent's library. When it Okay. That is a lot of text, but it kills a nightmare. What is the most demon? I guess demon is the most common type. Murderous Rider. That has three toughness. That's Ashiok. We're going to try to set up to do this combo all in one turn. Exile the Lord of the Forsaken. Play the land. Play Veraska. Play Murderous Rider. Go to combat. It didn't flip. That's awkward. Okay. Oh, that's very awkward. Well, draw a proliferate. Sure, pass the turn. Oh, because the toughness is stacked in a way that was bad for us. We wanted to flip this first and then get the counter. But instead, it got the counter and then we didn't have three creatures with different toughness. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, can our stuff live for two more turns? All right, there's the Shelob. Sure. Actually, if we draw land, can we do it this turn? I think we can. Sure. Not a land. Okay, so let's take up Ashiok for a land. Please, please, please. This would be so... Oh, not a land. 
All right, we're not going to take the Citadel this game. So this is four. Yeah, we're short of mana. So let's play Worn Power Stone. Play Feed the Swarm on the Shelob. Proliferate, draw. Play the Iron Craig. Wait, why will this never flip? Oh, I am misreading this card. Toughness greater than power. Oh. Oh, it's not going to work. Now we need a. Oh, uh, I thought we just needed three creatures with different toughness. Oh, that's what I get for not reading Catapult Fodder of all things. Oh, I want to do the processor thing, though. So we need one more high toughness creature. Journey to Eternity. Yep. I do like that card. Journey is a cool card. We also got rid of our Citadel, so we're not doing that. Opponent fights the Murderous Rider. Ah, oh, opponent. We want to do something cool. They can attack our Planeswalkers. We don't really care. We just want to do the processor thing. But flipping Catapult Launcher is proving to be a challenge. We have everything. We did all the hard stuff. We just can't flip the Catapult Fodder. We draw a Swamp. Take up Ashiok. Agatha Soul Cauldron into Exile. Draw and Proliferate. I guess we got to win by beating down because this is never going to happen. Go to combat. Blocks. Oh, the fling part is the hard part. Well, that's Fraxian Processor. Oh, I'm an idiot. We can still only pay 15. Yeah, that's that's worse than I thought. Worse than expected. Well, play Fraxian Arena. Oh, this game went wrong in so many ways. Oh, obviously. All right, so what we ran into there, actually a good TLDR. Even with Ashiak on the battlefield, you can't pay life that you don't have. So even though, in theory, Ashiok lets us get around, lets us get around actually losing life to paying life, we still have to have the life to pay. So it is correct that we were capped at 16. I mean, Processor is still sweet. It's still exiled a bunch of cards for Ashiok. It's still going to make 16 16s each turn, but not quite as explosive as we were hoping. Blizzard Brawl. Okay. Yep. Wait, why did you fight with that thing? Oh, they have Death Touch, right? Right, 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 right. Also weird that this doesn't have any counters on it. It's the Verasca. Well, let's Frexian Processor. Untap. Draw an extra card. Well, let's play Wishclaw. I guess we're going to have to win in another way here. Wishclaw Talisman. So we need something that just exiles our deck. I guess just Necro is easy. All right, play Necro. Well, we couldn't win in the cool way, but... <laughs> This does work. Exile. So we just got to do this until Ashiok has enough things in exile to uh, kill our opponent here. This <laughs> deck is so busted. I mean, Necro's also busted. Well, now I regret putting that Citadel away because the Citadel kills cooler than, uh, than this kill. 53. Can we hit something big? I mean, I guess it's theoretically possible that we just low roll with Necro. And, like, don't exile the big stuff. 57. 58. This is going slowly. 61. Pony has 80 cards in their deck. 65. 65. 69. Nice. 73. We're getting close. We're getting close. 76. Yeah, we'd have to really low roll to not get here now. So we'd have to hit, like, all lands. 78, 81, uh, opponent's at 80, all right, uh, opponent, would you like to exile 81 cards? Well, that's not how we drew it up, but uh, we'll take it, we'll take it, your go, opponent, your go, Shelob. Oh, all these necro triggers, I forgot about this, oh no, and we don't even have <laughs> a reliquary tower, so we gotta discard a hand size a million times. <laughs> all right. Yeah, we didn't even want the Necro cards. Necro was purely just to exile one, two, three, four, five, six, doesn't really matter, seven. It was purely just to exile. And, uh, all right. <laughs> Sorry, opponent, to make you sit through that. And opponent realizes their deck is empty and Ashiok is busted and scoops it up. I'm starting to think that Ashiok should be, should be in the busted commander pool or whatever. 
Ooh, Thrun. Ooh, are we getting boggles? All right, Thrun. All right. Dark Ritual means Fashiok. Land and Phyrexian Reclamation, go. Now all we really need is to find a way to get Bolus to Citadel on the battlefield opponent. Snow-covered forest, Allosaurus Shepard. Well, plant land, Agatha Soul Cauldron. Go. I guess we're gonna need a sweeper at some point, probably. So we can steal this ability to pump our elves. I just love Soul Cauldron. I don't even know if it's good in this deck, but... It is a way we can exile cards from our graveyard for Ashiok, which is something. But it gets in with the Shepherd. Well, I think we... Dark Ritual. Wasville Abbey, Ashiok. Take it up to start drawing cards. Yeah, all right, we're going to keep the Arcane Signet. Unclear if this is actually correct, but... So Soul Cauldron can just exile things to support Ashiok. We might regret getting rid of the Blood on the Snow, we'll see. The upside of the Blood on the Snow is it is a 6-drop in exile for Ashiok purposes. About it. Gonna attack the Ashiok, yep. Down to 5. Well, let's exile the Stark Ritual. Untap. Pick up Ashiok. Wow, okay, that is the Citadel. So, wow, that means we win next turn. Iron Craig, Arcane Signet. Agadim's Awakening, exile some cards. We don't even have anything to do with the mana, we just wanted to exile. <laughs> Although it was all swamps. Hopefully I have artifact destruction opponent, because we're about to play our deck, hopefully. I mean, I guess we don't have any scrying at the moment, so we could fizzle, definitely. Finale of Devastation X2. I mean, it's still hard to pass up the, the joy of Bolus the Citadel. Plus, we could spin into something that scries. Our deck is, like, kind of built to maximize this. Wow, Paradise Druid, okay. Opponent is preparing for a future that is not going to come. Opponent hits the Ashiok, sure. Well, Exile the Finale. We could actually wait a turn. You know what? Let's, let's wait a turn. Let's take up Ashiok. Exile the Defiler Fush. Take the land. Play the land. Play the Woe Strider. Play the Yog. So this makes it so we should really be able to win the game next turn. Like now, with a Scry Draw Proliferate Engine on the battlefield, pretty good chance we... All right, there's the Thrun. It's kind of what we were hoping for. So opponent plays the Thrun and Scries. But we go infinite. Ashiox is six, so we only need one proliferate. We already have the Bullets of Citadel in hand, so, well, play the Citadel. Play the Snow Covered Swamp. Sack the Goat to Scry. Actually, Sack the Goat to Proliferate. Actually, no. Sack the Goat to Scry. Get rid of the Castle Lock, Wade. Frag Scene Arena. Exile some cards. Cage Sun. Exile a bunch of cards. Baleful Mastery, the Allosaurus Shepherd. Exile some cards. Yeah, let's discard to proliferate. Sack the Yog to scry. Land to the bottom. Erebos' intervention. Oh, Snow Covered Swamp. Wait, does this mean we're fizzling? How many cards are in exile? 55. That is not enough. Exile Yog. Oh, we can't activate this twice. All right. Nightmares. Sack. With Yog's ability, kill the Paradise Druid. Sack. To Woe Strider's ability to scry. Vivisector. I mean, I guess it's worth it to draw. Wait, wait, wait. No, no. Sack to draw. Keep the Grey Merchant. Draw the Grey... Uh, play the Grey Merchant. Grey New. Sack the Grey Merchant. Feed the Swarm the Season of Growth. Cold Steel Heart. On black. I think we fizzled. All right. I mean, eh, that was an okay turn. It was fine. We didn't win the game, though, unfortunately. Opponent. Gonna go attacking at the Ashiok. Yeah, we kind of want that to live. So we will block. 
Plus, we can give other creatures... Soul Cauldron's actually paying off this game. We can give other creatures the ability. Ranging Raptor. All right, can we win this turn? So we draw, we draw. We have double mana. So play the Swamp. Murderous Rider is a creature. Catapult Fodder is a creature. Agatha the Soul Cauldron. Exile the Woe Strider. Put the counter on the Murderous Rider. Sack the Catapult Fodder. You know what? Let's take a land out of the deck. I think that's correct. Ashiok's at 93. Discard a card to proliferate. Using the Egg of the Soul Cauldron that is turning Murderous Rider into a Yagmoth. Up to six. One more. Up to seven. And now we make Yaxile 93. <laughs> Oh, it's so sweet. There's so many synergies. Not only is it sweet, it's actually like kind of busted. But yeah, this deck is this deck's ridiculous. This deck is ridiculous. If you're looking for something different to brawl with, grab Ashiok because this is one of the just the sweetest combo decks I think I've ever built for brawl. Bulls of Citadel is just such a fun card and Ashiok makes it into an absurd card. Mazzy! Is Mazzy the, the commander that can finally unseat Ashiok? Yeah, we'll keep this opponent. Fabled Passage. So Mazzy, whenever an enchanted creature attacks one of your opponents, it gets plus two plus young and trample and under turn. Whenever you, or you control is put into your graveyard from the battlefield, exile it until your next until the end of your next turn. You may cast it. All right. So it's essentially essentially an Aura Z Boggle Z style deck. Well, play land and Wish Claw Talisman. Will be relevant in the future once we have Ashiok and want to get Citadel. Oh, boon. I think what we do is probably, well, they are colors that can blow up artifacts, but we'd like to warn Power Stone into Kick Skyclave Relic. SRAM. Well, land and warn Power Stone. SRAM has got to be one of the best cards in a, in a Mazzy deck, so our opponent should be able to chain some auras and draw some cards, I think. If not, I don't know what Mazzy is even, even up to. Veldic. All right, more, more support. Uh, opponent gets and hits us. Is there a chance we just die next turn? That would be awkward. Play the land. We could just Veraska. This makes hasty three ones. We could just die. Yeah, let's let's play Veraska. I think we just need to treasure this Veldic. The Veldic's scary enough that there's a chance our opponent just plays enough auras that we literally lose the game this turn. Ooh. All right, well, that is that is the worst thing that could happen. Ouch, not only do they have protection, but it's protection that puts an aura on it. So it's not going the way we want it. So now what probably is going to have to happen is we're probably going to have to Wish Claw Wrath. That is, assuming we're not dead. Going to plays a land. Immolation. Draws a card. Spirited Companion. Okay. So we live. We take a absolutely brutal beating. I guess we would rather just draw a Wrath. But if we have to, we will Wish Claw Wrath, because if we don't, we're dead. All right, uh, down to nine. Down to nine. Well, that's not a Wrath, so... Yeah, I mean, Wish Claw. Oh, we can't quite reanimate. Do we, we don't have anything else in the graveyard right now. Crux of Fate. Destroy all non-dragons. Snow-covered swamp past the turn. We are not in a great spot, though. Opponent. Whenever an aura ETBs under your control, draw a card. So, like, a bad... A bad enchantress. I mean, I guess if you're an aura deck, it's probably not a bad enchantress. It's just an enchantress. All right, so opponent has a 3-3. Three, three. Does this give trample? It does. We are still in try not to die mode. Opponent passes. Erebos. Let's Ashiok make nightmares. Untap to get cards in exile. Skyclave Relic, sadly no kicker. Grow the dorks past the turf. Our opponent has a wish claw though. There's gotta be there's gotta be some sort of aura they can just tutor up and kill us, right? We only have a single mana, so the coast our opponent knows is pretty clear. 
Opponent, Command Tower. Mazzy. Granitha. Opponent attacks the Ashiok. Well, we will double block. Does not get pumped, because Mazzy, Mazzy only works when an enchanted creature attacks your opponent. So this is going to come back as an enchantment that says creatures we control ETB tap. Oh, that's a, that's an issue for the future. Like the next turn future. Okay, Ashiok, this is... <laughs> This is your time, Ashiok. You better find us another sweeper, or at least a removal spell, or we're gonna die. Our undefeated Ashiok record. Or you know what? It could just find Citadel. Could find Citadel and we just go off. That's the other possibility. Citadel oh, Necro's gone, but not Citadel. Necro would be too slow here anyway. I think our opponent might have expected Mazzy to trigger. This attack would have made more... I mean, so I guess it's still fine. Like, this dies... Oh, it's going to flip. Yeah, okay, so I guess it's not a great attack for our opponent. I think might have been a punt. The way our opponent's reacting to this makes me think they thought they were going to get trample. I mean, the power of Ashiok is we're always, like, a Citadel away from just <laughs> having a huge turn. One, two, three, four, five. They could have tutored up something up to six mana and cast it this turn. I'm surprised there's not an aura that's just, like, kill us. Really is going to salty rope their way through this. I mean... Maybe they're playing mobile and got disconnected. That's my that's my new line of thinking. If our opponent ropes like this, my my go to is now. Well, they might be playing mobile and got disconnected rather than being salty. Although I will admit it's a little suspicious that they were playing very fine until they accidentally jumped attack jump attack. Even despite this maybe not great attack, our opponent's still in pretty good shape if they keep playing. Exile the cold steel heart. Play a Gonti. Gonti takes Elvish Mystic, I guess. Play Elvish Mystic. Play a land. Play Erebos. And pass the turn. I mean, our hope is to block our way through here, which may or may not work. The Erebos does help. At least we got to turn on Erebos. A 5-6 indestructible blocker is is relevant. They still have the Wish Claw, and they still know the coast is pretty clear. There's not a whole lot of one-mana removal that's going to blow them out. We'll see if our opponent's even still playing. It's also possible our opponent's just not playing anymore. Kind of anticlimactic way to go out. I mean, a win's a win. A win's a win, but if we're playing Historic Brawl, if we're playing Historic Brawl, the goal is to do cool things, not to get timeout wins. Ooh, Tom Bombadil. <laughs> All right, I'm excited. I'm excited to see Tom. Tom is such a cool card, and I don't see it very often. So Pyramid's a little sketch, but it gives us something to do on turn three. So we get to play this on turn two. Turn three, we draw a card. Defiler, Doom Whisperer, Ashiok. I mean, Doom Whisperer, Ashiok is kind of a combo. We can surveil to find what we need. So opponent's going to be playing likely enchantments and sagas. Either that or I guess they could be gods. <laughs> That would be a, a unique way to build uh, bards. Uh, and there's not enough bards in magic, I don't think, to make bard tribal work. Our best card is Doom Whisper, but it's also our slowest card. All right, they're going to take the... Well, that was a nice draw. Cold Steel Heart on black. That speeds things up a bit, so that's actually fine. <laughs> Considering we drew a Mana Rock, we don't even want the Sunset Pyramid at this point. What, another one? Yeah, I think we still just played a Filer. The Filer's cute with Ashiok. I wouldn't say it's a full combo, but the Fraxian mana, like, it's easy ramp. We are going to need removal at some point. This Tom, like, can't really just sit out. All right, going to Swords the Defiler. I mean, opponent's playing a lot of good cards. Goldberry. Well, I think we got to go Ashiok and go upside here. Play the Ashiok, take it up, start running cards. Uh, yeah, I think we'll take Necro. I don't know if we actually play it next turn. I mean, with Doom Whisper, we can just... If we an ultimate Ashiok, we can win. Well, okay, take up Ashiok. Grab a Swamp. Exile a Swamp. Play a Swamp. Play Yogg. Pass the turn. Well, our opponent doesn't know this yet, but unless they can... Oh, boy, they do a land that lets them play Tom. A Crowin War. Well, okay. Discard a card, proliferate. Wow! And about it! <laughs> ah, scoops it up!
<laughs> oh, this deck is busted. So what we can do there, which is kind of hilarious. So we Yogg. We can use it to proliferate our opponent's Saga. So the Saga will go away on their next turn instead of this turn, and we get our Yogg back. So they're really only going to be able to attack with the Goldberry, which actually isn't very good. Like, they get in for one at Ashiok, but we're proliferating Ashiok, so it's still going to be at six. So we're still essentially, like, a turn away from winning. Did not expect proliferating opponent Sagas to be a key part of our game plan, but uh, here we are. <laughs> busted. Ashiok busted. Sweet. So what did we learn this week about Ashiok combo in Historic Brawl? And the deck is just straight up busted. Ashiok is ridiculous if you're willing to build around it a little bit. And uh, it's totally worth it because the way you build around Ashiok is by playing a bunch of good cards you want to play anyway. Like Necro is one of the best cards in this entire format. Bolas is Citadel, one of the best black cards in the format. So we're comboing by playing a bunch of really good cards that we would probably want in a mono black deck anyway. And our reward is we literally just get to play our entire deck and we even have the combo kills where we proliferate and win all in one turn with Ashiok's ultimate. If you watched our game, I don't think we lost like hardly at all. I've played a ton of matches with this deck for fun. So you do lose sometimes, but our record is like incredibly good with the deck. The combo, because we're a black deck with a bunch of tutors, is actually super easy to assemble. And then the combo is just super fun. Being able to just play as much of your deck as possible by exiling cards to Ashiok with Bolas to Citadel is a really, really cool way to win the game. So this deck is... Oh, really, really sweet. If you're looking for a weird combo -y style deck, I, I think this is a really sweet option, and I find it incredibly fun to play. You draw tons of cards, you got good answers to most things, you're able to tutor up whatever you need in any situation, and then you get those weird sneaky synergies too, the weird like Phyrexian processor going off, or the weird Villas shenanigans, Razaketh tutoring a bunch of times. So there's just so many cool lines with this deck, or even like we saw Aegis of the Soul Cauldron go off by turning our Creatures into Yagmoth to let our combo continue, even after our opponent was able to kill some of our combo pieces. So I love this deck. If you want to go off with Ashiok and play your entire deck and do ridiculous things, I think this is a really fun, really legit build. My only worry is it might actually be too strong. By the end, I was actually feeling a little bad that we were just like kind of smacking everyone a little bit. Like it didn't even feel close. We were just absolutely crushing everyone that went up against us. So I'm almost seriously wondering if Ashiok should be put in the like busted commander bucket. You know, they have like two groups of commanders on arena and like the really busted ones like Golos only play against each other and then everyone else plays against each other. It might be that Ashiok is so strong that it deserves to be in the busted commander bucket because it is really, really easy to just win the game the turn that you play this and play through your entire deck. So that is Ashiok combo. The deck is super, super sweet. That's been our much approved for today. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you soon. Looking for even more magic? Well, check out the video where we taught Arena Zoomers about the power of Blood Moon, or maybe the one where we played every single land destruction spell that exists on Magic Arena.